Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, America? It's your boy, Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kit Thunder. I'm back. The move was definitely a hassle. You know, I just moved into, you know, another place and everything is fine. But now it's time to talk about this. So it's August 9. Today is August 9. And we know what's the deal here. Um, supposedly today marks the anniversary of Michael Brown. Now, don't take it as if I'm hold, holding that guy up for, you know, as a saint. Because I'm going to tell you this right here. I am not holding him as a saint. He was no saint to begin with. I think we all know that by now. Unless if you're a woke piece of shit lefty who only cared, who only cares about your feelings rather than the facts. But anyway, I want to talk about uh, Michael Brown. I think we all know the story by now. Because, you know, it's been seven years and I think that, um, you know, it's good. It's a good time to learn about, I mean, to talk about what could we learn from this whole fiasco that took place on the afternoon of August 9, 2014. Um, I'm going to say this right here. We all know what happened on that day. Um, but on that same day, a lot of, uh, you know, everybody in the Satanist media um, literally wants to wants to say that this guy was literally just a calm spirited, gentle giant individual. When in reality, the when in reality, Mr. Brown was literally nothing more than just a corner, a known piece of shit to the community. Now, let me say this. Unfortunately, he lost his life. Unfortunately, he brought himself to his own demise. This was, I mean, the. The incident was literally nothing more than just suicide by cop. Because I was because literally because had him and his friend moved over to the sidewalk like what Officer Darren Wilson had told him to do then quite frankly Mike Brown would still be alive now if he still would be alive right about now he'd probably be serving time in the joint unless if his homies would probably bail him out especially his friend uh, Dorian Johnson who literally lied to the media talking about how the cops shot his friend uh, and he had his hands up. But here's the thing. That whole hands up, don't shoot BS was literally a lie. Nobody was buying into that. And then you also got to factor in this. Before all of that whole rigmarole took place on the afternoon of August 9, 2014, um, literally both Brown and his friend calling himself, I mean, calling themselves um, 
assaulting a store owner of a convenience store. And literally, that's what that was when the cops were called on. So now I know some of you all out there might be saying, well, the cops should the cops should never have shot him. But here's the killer. Officer Darren Wilson was literally trying to fend for his life. And literally, Officer Wilson was literally did the right thing. Now, I will also ask this question. Let's fast forward to 2021. I mean, let's fast forward to current to this current time right now, especially when you really got to factor in like when the George Floyd riots took place in 20 in 2020. And people are all all of a sudden trying to put in this rigmarole saying that police officers are just hunting down random black people for no reason. When I've debunked that nonsense time and time again on this channel. Because in reality, statistics show that cops are less likely to pull the trigger on on black suspects, on black criminals. And and even and even FBI investigations have concluded that not only that a liberal professor concluded that reason too and then it was also debunked in the Washington compost yes in liberal a liberal news outlet Washington compost literally debunked it so but I got to ask the question. I think the Mike Brown fiasco from August 9, 2014, where there's these, uh, where you had these black lies, where black lies matter, and, and Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and all these other um Satanist media hacks are celebrated have been celebrating his death like every single year and every time they celebrate his death every year well they're not celebrating his death they're literally trying to put put this guy up as sainthood and the thing is is this why would you put someone who made poor lifestyle choices and hold them up as a saint. And then I'm going and then there's going to be those who are going to come after me and attack this video and say all manner of things talking about how you know I have lack of humanity or this that and the third. You know, I mean, it, it's also like it's also this right here. You know, right now I'm in Facebook jail as of this video. And if people if people are, you know, I can guarantee you people are sell people are supposedly remember um, Michael Brown. As if he was a saint. But me on the other hand. I could care, care less about him. You know. I did the same for George Floyd. I did the same for Breonna Taylor. I didn't care about either one of them. I never knew who they were. Whom they were. Let alone. Let alone didn't. Um, didn't care. Let's just say that I never knew who whom they were. 
but unfortunately they lost their lives. But at the same time, they lost their lives over poor lifestyle choices. And then I want to ask the question. I want to ask the question right here. Do you all think that since this Mike, since this incident regard regarding of the police shooting of Mike Brown that took place on August 9, 2014, um, do you really think that this was literally the beginning of the anti-police movement where everybody is trying to talk about defunding the police, which is currently happen, happening, and then we got the rise of crime in most of our nation's inner cities. Especially when all their all the inner cities are literally run by progressive Democrats for ages. Because in my humble opinion, I do feel that's where the anti-cop movement has really began. But it really ha but it really has taken off big time right now. But here's the killer. This anti-police movement that started during the time of Mike Brown, when Mike Brown got shot and killed, it's literally hurting our nation, but it's really doing a, a big chunk of damage to minority communities. Fact, not opinion. This is all I really have to say about this right here. What are your thoughts? What are your comments about this? I mean, and what and if you if you're but I will also I will also go on record and say that do you think it is fine time that we should stop celebrating criminals as if they're heroes because it's doing a lot of damage to our nation and it's doing severe damage to minorities like myself. I'm Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder. You guys have a wonderful day. Please share this video.